Hi, this is Chris with Progressive Ideas in Wood, and today we got a good one for you. We're going to be going over black walnut, white walnut, beech wood, and ash. And if you like this type of content, we have an entire playlist of woods from all around the world where we talk about use cases through practical experiences, you know, what it's like working with them. You know, we'll get into the jank average dry weight, and we took I'll give you a, a cost range of what these woods go for. Um, so without further ado, let's dive in. All right, black walnut. This is a wood that's been coveted by craftsmen and furniture makers for centuries. It has a great strength to weight ratio and is very cooperative to work with. It has a deep chocolate brown color, but it will have purple and red undertones to it some lighter browns. The older the tree, the more prominent those undertones can be. Gun stocks have been commonly, most commonly, made from black walnut throughout history, as well as furniture, cabinetry, turnings, veneer, and a whole bunch more. The average dry weight to this beautiful wood is about 3.2 pounds of board foot, the Jankas right at around a thousand. End grain is diffused porous and the cost range is about fifteen to twenty dollars a board foot, though it does depend if you got some, you know, real nice high figured big slabs or burls, um, they're gonna demand a premium. Any companies that separate curly walnut from the regular walnut, that's gonna demand a bit of a premium. Yeah, there you have it. White Walnut, a.k.a. Butternut. Now this is a true walnut being in the same genus, but it's lighter and less dense than Black Walnut. It has a light to golden tan appearance and is fairly common in grain, irregul grain irregularity. You ever have a word that you want to say and your mouth just doesn't do it? Anyways, those pieces that are so irregular can be a bit challenging to work with when hand planing. It finishes stunningly. It glues, screws, and finishes easy. It's an excellent choice for rustic design and has many work cases in general, all types of furniture. The average dry weight's about 2.4 pounds a board foot. The Janka's around 500. I think it's a little more than that, but that's just my professional opinion. End grain is semi-diffused porous, and the cost range is about ten to thirteen dollars. This is a briefcase table. It's made of white walnut and mesquite. The white walnut, obviously, being the rustic gold-colored wood. We have a build video out on this, but that's not the point of showing you this. It's just showing you what the white walnut looks like finished in its finished state. Okay, beech wood. American beech, along with its Euro cousin, are cream color to light tan. And they can have some darker patches in there. And they could also have like a muted undertone of orange, pinks, and yellows. Beech withstands impact very well and it is why in a lot of high-end chisels they'll have beech handles. It makes for good mallets as well. It's a great choice for steam bending and if you enjoy herring, beech is typically the, the what they use to smoke it with. It's a strong straight grain wood with many purposes and if none of that's your cup of tea it makes excellent firewood. A fun fact for you is Beech actually belongs to the oak family. The average dry weight is about 3.8 pounds of board foot. The Janka hardness is about 1300. The end grain's diffused porous, and the cost range is about six to ten dollars a board foot. Okay, last but not least, the ash, the tree that's disappearing. Ash is a very common wood in the U.S. and it's light and strong very resistant to shock, which is why it's the number one choice for wooden baseball bats. 
It's also a common choice for chisel handles, just right along with beech and oak. It's used in furniture, flooring, live edge tables, and more. It's currently readily available and is very reasonable in price. But in my personal and professional opinion, I'm finding it extremely rare to find any ash trees that are still alive and flourishing. I believe we're living in a time much like a century ago when a readily available and commonly used American chestnut was ravaged and made all but extinct. Ash comes in at about 3.5 pounds a board foot. The Janka hardness is about 1320. It's a ring porous wood and right now the cost range is only around six to nine dollars a board foot. Get it while it's hot. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this content and again if if you do enjoy this kind of content, we have a whole playlist of woods from all over the world, you know, that you can learn all types of stuff about, so check them out. Until then, have a good one.